there is no death with dignity when you're lying on the ground of an emergency room in Gaza. And Dr. Seema Jelani now joins me from New York. Dr. Jelani, thank you so much. We just heard you say no death with dignity. What had you seen that made you say that? In my first three hours of working at Alexa Hospital, I treated a one-year-old boy with a bloody diaper, and his right arm and right leg had been blown off. Uh, there was no leg below the diaper. He was bleeding into his chest. Um, he was, I treated him on the ground because there were no stretchers and no beds available. Um, and when the orthopedic surgeon came to wrap his stumps up to stop the bleeding, I would have imagined in the U.S. this would have been a straightforward case that went immediately to the operating room because of the severity as a stat case. And instead, the impossible choices inflicted on the doctors of Gaza have made it such that he wasn't the emergency of the day. There was a waiting list and the operating room was already full with other more pressing cases. And so I ask myself, what's more pressing than a one-year-old without an arm, a leg, and who's bleeding into his chest and choking on his blood? And that will tell you a little bit about the scale of devastation that the people of Gaza are suffering.